Kunal Broster, SBS World News. User pays road charges are among a raft of recommendations made in a new report identifying Australia's infrastructure gaps. Infrastructure Australia says its 15-year plan aims to improve living standards and productivity across Australia. It's a plan for the future, one without car registration fees and fuel excises. The Infrastructure Australia roadmap wants motorists to pay direct charges for using the roads within 10 years. But much debate and consultation lies ahead. We'd want to make sure the community understood the case for it. There's a lot of issues to work through about, for example, e equity considerations, who's better off, who's worse off. The NRMA says any user pays system would need to be revenue neutral. They haven't even talked about how you would structure it, so we're not even sure if they would use GPS or what they would use, whatever they'd be off the odometer. Uh, so these are all the things that I suspect the government uh, will need to talk to the community about. Couldn't be a bad thing, you know, as long as it gets uh, the roads better. It's not too bad. I mean, there's always room for improvement. The user pays system is one of 78 recommendations to government, including privatisation of electricity and water infrastructure, as well as the national broadband network. So why the urgency? IA says Australia's population will be around 30 million by 2031. Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane and Perth will account for almost three quarters of that growth. The smaller capitals are expected to lag behind. The report says the major cities will struggle under the weight of more people and more cars. That's despite some major works already underway around the country. The report prioritises 93 infrastructure projects. They include new metro rail systems in Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane, road and rail in Perth, public transport improvements in Adelaide and Canberra, urban renewal in Hobart and water supply upgrades in Darwin. We absolutely need to capture more sources of funding and I think we can do that. Uh, we've been pretty, compared to other countries, we've honestly been uh, uh, less imaginative. This report should be a wake-up call because it serves as a reminder of that failure. A failure to invest, a failure to have proper analysis before projects are supported. The federal government is expected to formally respond to the infrastructure plan later this year. Darren Mara, SBS World News.